guys and welcome to another episode of Desert Warriors Fitness. My name is Nick Reynoso. It's Chris right here. And we're going to be talking to you about the two parts that make up your metabolism. So please stay tuned and keep watching. It's the fucking same thing we just did earlier. I know, except I was alive at that time. Dude, I don't have, dude, four, dude, I don't have four hours of sleep. What do you want me to say? Fucking say joke. Make me laugh. What do you want me to say? Make me fucking laugh. What do you want me to say? Make me fucking laugh, cut Put that shit away. You are on the same side as mine. Put I think they're like 17s now. I I'm pretty sure you're like, it's like the fat cells. <laughs> no, we're not even, dude. So that's, here, see, see that's why I'm a fucking beast. See here, look at that, look at that. Still recording. See, that's called a motherfucking peak right there. Peek at you. I'm a little skinny Ethiopian kid, and I'm just like, I'm, I'm black. I'm like a little short. Why do you be Ethiopian? I don't know, I just thought of Ethiopian. Oh, it's kind of weird. weird. You just yeah. happen to be black. Tell you black. Anyway, Anyways, welcome back to the dinner episode of Desert Warriors Fitness. Your host, Chris. And Nick Reynoso, today we go over your metabolism and how things grow and how things break down in your body. So stay tuned. That's how you want to do an intro right there. Whatever. <laughs> Like I said before, we're going to be going over what makes up your metabolism. Now there's two parts to your metabolism. There is the anabolic state your body is in and the catabolic state. I will be taking you guys through what makes up the anabolic state. Now when your body is in an anabolic state, it's in a state of recovering and it's a state of rebuilding itself. And how your body does that is by what nutrients you give it. Now your macros will be your carbs, fats, and your proteins. Now, after a workout, it's great to replenish yourself or even before a workout. Now, what happens is your body will be taking, uh, let's take carbs for instance, be taking carbohydrates such as sucrose, fructose, and dextrose. Those are just different types of sugar that you take into your body. Fructose is fruit sugar, for instance. And uh, so what will happen is your body will turn it into glucose. And what happens is glucose is immediately sent into your bloodstream. Now, when glucose is running through your bloodstream, it's great energy towards your current workout. Now, what happens is when your body is in an anabolic state, there is no energy needed for an anabolic state. Your body is at rest. Your body is repairing itself from what you just did for the catabolic state. And I won't do too much into what builds up the catabolic state, but just know that in an anabolic state, your body is in a state of rest, rebuilding, and repairing. So what happens is in the rebuilding part of anabolic state is that your body is going to be clumping smaller groups of nutrients together to, be, to uh, create greater building blocks. So what happens is when there's too much glucose or, or enough glucose to group together, in an anabolic state, your body will group glucose together and turn it into glycogen. Now, this pretend that it is a muscle fiber. Now, as you see, these pink lines are the actual muscle fiber and the black dots within it will pretend are glycogen. Now, what happens is with glycogen, your body stores it for future use, for future uh, physical activity, just for future use. But what happens is when you keep eating, and you're not using up the, the stored glycogen, what happens is now your body has this building block that was once small blocks of gly uh, glucose. Now you have a block of glycogen and when glycogen is built up too much, it turns into what we know as body fat, just your everyday body fat. And uh, body fat is stored energy for your body for future occasions. So, that, that's what happens in an anabolic state. And then when people use anabolic steroids, all it does is it increases the efficiency of your body at an, in an anabolic state. It helps your body rebuild itself faster and repair itself faster. And that's where anabolic steroids get their name. So in an anabolic state, you're rebuilding and you're repairing. Your body groups smaller groups of nutrients together into bigger ones and those into bigger ones. And all it is, is your body repairing itself and rebuilding itself for its next time. 
Now, it doesn't just apply to carbohydrates, it applies to proteins also. In an anabolic state, the protein that you give your body, say for after a workout, such as a protein shake, your body will take the protein that you give it and it will start repairing the muscles. Because what happens is, during a workout, you start making very various groups of micro tears into the muscle fiber. And what happens is, the protein that you give it, or existing protein already in your body, goes and it repairs those spots. And that's actually how hypotrophy happens, when your muscle grows. This is what bodybuilders look for, is hypotrophy. And that's exactly how it happens. Small, uh, small tears happen in the muscle fiber, and then they are later repaired, but when they're repaired, all they do is fill those gaps and the muscle becomes bigger than last time. So it tears, rebuilds, tears, rebuilds, tears, rebuilds, and that's how hypotrophy happens, your muscle grows. Next, Chris is gonna be taking you guys into what catabolic state is when your body is in a catabolic state. So stay tuned for Chris. So opposed to anabolic state, catabolic state is real. With some of the be is gonna be the breakdown of carbs, fats, and proteins to form some type of energy source, which is you all know and love is ATP. So what that does is like a like a like a piston in, in your car or engine for your car. Uh, so you'll need fuel. So carbs are gonna be like it's like your regular fuel. Fat is gonna be like your low quality fuel, and then protein is gonna be your high premium fuel. That costs a lot of money for no reason. And um, so what that does, that just fuels your muscles. It fills, it fills you up so you get energy to to lift, run, do any type of any type of physical activity throughout the day, even walking up and down stairs. So that's how that's how that works for the breakdown. Remember, you think a catabolic, a catabolic, take a breakdown of nutrients. So. Another thing about catabolic state that is important to know is keeping your keeping carbs high while doing a physical activity uh, and when you have a, a nice little plethora of fats. So when, once your because your carbs gonna be your main your main source of energy. So once that once that runs out, then it's going down to your fats. And then once the fats runs out, then it goes down to your protein, which is gonna be a no go. You don't want that to happen. For example, think of like uh, bodybuilders versus marathon runners. Bodybuilders, you know, they, they lift a lot. They're trying to stay in the uh, in the anabolic state. Versus marathon runners, you know, they're running like 26 miles a day, training for like a little, for like month, for like 24k, or however long they run, they run forever. So that's why they're really skinny because their body is constantly trying to get energy so they could keep running. So yeah, I'm a, a catabolic state and anabolic state. That pretty much makes up your, your your metabolism right there. So uh, just remember, in your metabolism, your when you're in an anabolic state, your body's in a state of rebuilding and repairing, and when you're in a catabolic state, your body is in a state of breaking down bigger nutrient blocks into more simpler forms to fuel your exercises, even if it's not an exercise, just your living. Um, so. If you guys got any questions, go ahead and leave them down below in the comment section. Please get at us at our social media, our Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Our Instagram is growing. We're liking where that's going. So please get at us any way, shape, or form. And if you, uh, if you have any questions about anything else like ATP, which I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure not a lot of people know about or what that means, we're making videos anyways about it later on. But if you have any questions about anything else, but more of this stuff, comment down below. Send us an email, or our email. The link is down below. And uh, yeah, all right, myself. Remember guys, send us questions on Snapchat through video or through uh, your email. Send us emails. We're gonna be answering your questions on future video segments. Uh, we haven't made one yet because we don't have any questions yet. Um, so please go ahead and send us questions. Please like, subscribe. 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 Share. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Deuces.